Hi, I'm Stu Miniman with theCUBE, and we're here at the Winslow Technology Group Dell EMC User Conference here at the Hotel Commonwealth in Boston. Happy to have with me Mike Berthium, who is the Northeast SE Manager with Nutanix. Mike, it's great to see you. I'm happy to be here, Stu. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. All right, so Mike, uh, I've actually known you for a bunch of years. Uh, we've been at some of the local user groups, actually moderated a panel yeah. you were on a couple of years ago. Talk to us a little bit about Nutanix's channel and of course uh, the relationship with Winslow. Excellent, well I think Nutanix's channel is, is very strong. Uh, as you know, and I think a lot of our viewers know, all of our, our um, Nutanix uh, sales are done through the channel, so we are a 100% channel focused uh, company. Uh, the Winslow uh, Technology Group has been an, uh, a, a, a tremendous uh, channel partner for us in New England um, and other parts of the, the country as well, uh, growing their business down in the southeast and in the New York metro area. Um, but uh, they've been fantastic, uh, and what makes them a little bit interesting, you know, they're very focused on Dell EMC, right? So being part of the Dell EMC portfolio uh, opens up quite a few opportunities, I think, for Nutanix, um, and it really, I think, helps Dell EMC complete their portfolio with our technology. Sure, uh, Mike, absolutely. We're going to be talking to Scott Winslow today, uh, you know, been using you know, the Dell, uh, and I think was one of the earliest of the Dell XC uh, customers out there. What is it for the customers uh, that they look for, uh, I guess specifically for Dell XC from a partner uh, like Winslow Technology Group? I think from, you know, customers are looking for a partner who has their best interests at heart, right? So the, the value-added resellers, and specifically Winslow, is going to their customers as trusted advisors, as consultants, understanding business challenges and how they can solve those with technology. And Nutanix is a natural fit, you know, specifically Dell XC, due to the simplicity, um, you know, the non-disruptive operational procedures that we can bring in, and now some of the new exciting stuff around our enterprise cloud operating system that we recently talked about at our .next conference. I think the uh, the, the vision that Nutanix holds is is in lockstep with you know what Winslow is trying to do for its customer base here in New England. Yeah, Mike, I want you to talk a little bit about your customers that that you're meeting with. Uh, you know, what do they care about? What are the drivers there? What are things like converge, hyperconverge, and clouds? Does that mean something to them, or you know, how is it? How do they say it in their business terms? Yeah, I think uh, when we talk to customers, most customers today, uh, almost all customers know what converged infrastructure is. Hyperconverged, I say, I would say, is a little bit, you know, less than a converge. But most most customers are educated and understand the concept. Um, I think when we start talking to customers and educate them about the XC platform and Nutanix and open their eyes to this concept of uh, enterprise cloud or enterprise cloud operating system, it changes the discussion. And we see typically, I'll see a lot of light bulbs go off in a, a lot of I don't I didn't realize that Nutanix could do that, um, or I didn't realize that you guys had you know, custom, native integration with the public cloud or were focused in the application stack, which is, again, some of the announcements that we made last week, at, at, or a few weeks ago now at .next. Yeah, uh, so right. specifically around cloud, uh, you know, what's the, the you know, the, I find there is no typical state out there, right. that companies are all over the map trying to yep. figure out kind of hybrid or multi-cloud. Maybe give us a couple examples, you know, probably yeah. can't give us customer names, but how are they integrating cloud? How are they building their environments to be more cloud-like, what we at Wikibon call true private cloud? What, what are you yeah. seeing out there in the field? It's a great question. So I think there is a uh, sort of a misconception from my view that cloud is purely lift and shift. I'm going to take my application and I'm going to move them into the public cloud or, or somebody else's environment. In reality, cloud is a way of doing business, right? It's a way, a, 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 it's a new way of thinking about IT. You know, uh, we talk about mode one and mode two applications or your legacy and your more stateless applications that probably belong in a, in a public cloud environment. And what Nutanix brings is the ability now to manage an environment in that new way, uh, focusing both on your traditional legacy applications uh, but helping you move to those no two applications, um, partnering with public cloud providers, specifically Google, right? So, um, so that's that's the conversation we're really having. Is you know, don't think of cloud as lift and shift. Think of it as a new way of doing business. Let's figure out what cloud, uh, how cloud's going to benefit your business and align to the business value you're looking to achieve. Yeah, absolutely. One of the lines we, we've heard many times is cloud is not a destination. Cloud is really an operating model uh, for, for many of the users. Uh, last thing, just what, what's kind of the, the, the feeling you get from uh, people in IT today? Uh, in the keynote this morning, uh, discussion was IT kind of went from a cost center to supporting to the business, and now IT is a driver for the business. 
business. Uh, is that what you're seeing? You know, what, 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 where's kind of the, the, the typical IT mindset? Uh, you know, what are they thinking about? What, what, what's exciting them and what's worrying them? Yeah, I think first and foremost, you know, digital transformation has quickly become kind of the cliche term, right? Maybe one of the most hated terms <laughs> um, in IT these days, but uh, it's a reality, I think, for most folks, right? And understanding what digital transformation means and the business now understanding that, yeah, again, IT is, is actually driving business value um, in every way. Um, and how can they get to the level where IT is no longer in the way? You know, long duration projects are a thing of the past. It's a, it's a you know, a move forward mentality now, continue uh, to push the boundaries, but yet keep, um, you know, obviously keep the lights on and ensure that we're not going to, you know, disrupt existing business processes that are tried and true. So it's, a, it's kind of a tough uh, paradigm that we're in right now. And again, I think Nutanix really helps because we bring that non-disruptive uh, perspective to being able to get to that next level. All right. Mike Berthium, yeah. really appreciate you joining us here. Uh, Nutanix, uh, been a great, great role and uh, working with partners like Winslow Technology Group. You're watching theCUBE. We've got lots more coverage here from the WTG User Group event.